This video is going to go over how to install Unity on your computer. The first thing you'll need to do is go to Unity's website at unity.com. It'll come up with a screen somewhat like this. It may have a download button here. Sometimes they change their site, so if it's not here, look for it up top. The other place it is generally is where it now says plans and pricing. So now this is a free program for somebody who's just learning it and isn't making a lot of money. So I want to just click here. This will take us to the same place as the download button. But what you'll want to do is go for the Unity Personal option. Okay, so I'm going to click on Download Now. And it'll bring me really to where that other download button would have taken us. Since I'm working on a Windows machine, I'm going to click on Download for Windows. And I am going to decline the Learn Unity with Pathways option here. So if you notice, it's starting to get the setup file down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to launch the installer. I need to agree to the terms of service and choose the location to install Unity Hub. Okay. At this point, I would like to run Unity Hub because that's where I'm going to actually choose my version to install. At this point, it's trying to suggest the most recent long-term support version of Unity to install. And so it would be fine if you just go ahead and clicked here. However, I am going to look for a specific version since I'm continuing a project and I don't want to change versions partway through. So I'm going to say skip installation and I'm going to go a different way. So what I'm going to do is go over here to installs and I'm going to click on install editor. And there are some versions listed, but that's not what I'm looking for quite now. Um, I am going to be looking for a different one. So I'm going to click on this archive button and I'm going to go to the download archive. And that's where you can find all the different versions. And what's great is that Unity Hub lets you install multiple versions in case you're working on different uh, projects with people. So I'm going to scroll down here. And my, the version I'm personally looking for is the Unity 2022.3.3. So here that is. And I'm going to click on the Unity Hub button. And it'll take me back to Unity Hub to do the install. Now notice it asked me, do you want to open Unity Hub? And yes, I do. And it brings up the install page. So at this point, I definitely want Microsoft Visual Studio checked because that's how I'll be able to edit my code. So that can be easily installed along with Unity, which is great. And in my case, I'm only going to be working on a Windows uh, project. So I, I wanted this checked as well. So if there's other things you're working on, Mac, Linux, things, you can check those. And later on, you can always add these later if you're not sure. So in my case, I'm just choosing Windows Build Support and I'm going to click Continue. Now it'll show me my Visual Studio license terms. I'm going to go ahead and say I read that and say install. And now it will go through the install process. I'm going to expand this and you can see it's going to install the Windows build support, the actual editor version that I chose, as well as Microsoft Visual Studio community. The Visual Studio will actually have its own installer. So once that is ready, it'll bring up a pop up and it'll ask me to go through the prompts there. And while this is downloading, I will speed ahead so you don't need to watch the whole thing yourself. Okay, at this point, I see a pop-up from Visual Studio Installer asking me to continue. So it's going to kind of hand over the process to here. At this point, Visual Studio is going to essentially ask you what you're going to be using this for so it can install the proper things. So I'm going to scroll down here, and we are going to be doing game development with Unity. And so by checking this, it gives us Visual Studio Tools for Unity, C Sharp, which is the language we'll be using, and a few optional things. I can uncheck Unity Hub since we already have it installed through Unity. And then I'm going to go ahead and say Install. And this will also take a few minutes, so I will jump ahead to when it's done. Okay, Visual Studio is now wrapping up. Notice it asked me to sign in, and since I am already logged into my Windows machine, it signed in for me. So if it doesn't do that for you, you may have to um, sign in with a Microsoft account, and Microsoft accounts are free if you need to create one and sign in. 
Okay, at this point, I don't need to actually use Visual Studio on its own, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this because we'll get there through Unity itself. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this Visual Studio installer. And back to Unity Hub, notice the install is complete. So now if I go to installs, it shows me that my version that I needed personally, 2022.3.3, is installed. And if you have other releases, it will list them here. Now notice at this point, I'm not logged in and it's not showing any active licenses. And that's just fine. I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, I need to log in. I already have a Unity ID, but if you don't, you can click on create account and you can create a Unity ID by adding your email, create a password, a username for yourself and your full name. Click I'm not a robot and create a Unity ID. Now I already have one. So I am going to sign in. And once I'm signed in, it'll bring you to your account settings. So we have um, over here, it'll show your username, name, and things like that. Okay, so now that I'm logged in, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Unity Hub. And I can click on Manage Licenses and sign in. I can add a license and I can get a free personal license. So I'm gonna activate a personal license to use the free version of Unity Editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It gives me an agreement as in, I don't make more than 100,000 in annual gross revenues in, by creating things in Unity. So I'm gonna go ahead and say agree. And now it gave me a personal license activation. I'm gonna go ahead and close this because this is, this is preferences. So now if I'd like to actually create a project just to show that everything's working, I can go to projects and I can say new project. This is the editor version that I'm creating it in. And if I had other versions installed, I could choose it here. And I can choose what template I'd like to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and say 2D core. Over on the right here, I can name my project I'm just gonna call it example project and it's going to save it into a location I navigate to. I'm go ahead and say create project. This also takes a little while to set up a new project so I'll jump ahead to when it's done. So here we are in Unity. It's ready to go to start creating things. If you need some help on how to get started, check out my channel and this Hello World program that I have popped up here is a good place to start.